Hello, plant friends. Hope you guys are all doing well out there in real life land. In this episode, we're talking about indoor trees. Indoor trees. When people are thinking about indoor trees, when I think about indoor trees, I think about the fiddle leaf fig. The fiddle leaf fig basically like took the indoor decor thingamajiggy interior design world by storm. It seemed like you couldn't open a magazine without seeing in the background a fiddle leaf fig. And I I don't pe blame people for loving it. It's it's absolutely an, a beautiful plant if you can keep it alive. And I can't keep it alive. I cannot keep one alive. It does not do well in my environment. And I know that for a lot of you guys out there, you either have killed one or know someone who has killed one or read stories on the New York Times probably about them dying in masses. I don't, I, I don't know. But um, for those of you who have trouble with the fiddle leaf fig and want to find good alternatives or, you know, other indoor plants that may be even better than the fiddle leaf fig, um, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hey y'all, I'm Danny with Out of Eating Philly, and today I'm going to talk about some underrated houseplants. So I chose to take a different approach to this and talk about trees. We all have our houseplants and tropicals that we love, but you know, the trees kind of don't get as much love and as much shine as the houseplants. So I'm gonna show you six different trees that I grow. Some are a little conventional to grow in the house, others aren't, but I like to live a little dangerously, so I will show you what I've got. So first up, we've got a tree that is gained a little popularity this year, and it is the Ficus altissima, or sometimes called Little Jim. I've had this guy for a few years, and this is the first time I've actually put him outside, and oh my gosh, y'all, the leaves, irrigation, leaves are huge. And he also started giving me a few aerial roots as well. So I'm so proud of this guy. He grew up so big this summer. Up next is another ficus who's a cousin to the Altissima. We've got a Audrey. And Audreys are also called banyan figs or strangler figs. And the leaves on this guy are so velvety and so soft, but be careful not to get water on them. I don't put this guy outside. I've never put him outside just for the fear of the water damaging the leaves, but I've had him for a few years and it's about five feet tall now. But the cool thing that I love, absolutely love about this tree, this tree is a savage out in nature. I'm telling y'all, these aerial roots, which it started putting out last year, I'm going to lose him. This guy started growing these wonky arrow roots and I love me a good arrow root y'all but in nature it will attach and grow on trees like an epiphytic plant and the roots will grow and wrap around the tree and wrap down the tree and actually strangle the tree savage savage I love it so those are more common house plant trees up next, I'm going to show you something that you've probably seen outside in landscaping, but I like to grow it inside, and that is a compact cedar. And I found this guy in a nursery way in the back. It looked like he had been damaged by the storm or something, and I thought, it's so wonky and cute. It's just like me. Like, some of the branches are growing downwards, some of them are going up. I don't know what's going on with the tree, but I love it. And this is one that I can actually keep outside year round, but I don't really keep it out much. I grow it indoors under really, really bright light, and it seems to be happy. Somewhere between a house plant and a bonsai, I kind of just let it do its thing, and then if it gets too root ground, root bound, I have it in these nice root pruning pots. So I just snip the roots when they grow through the pot and keep it moving. He's happy, I'm happy, we're all good. Next, I have two Aurelia trees, and I think these started gaining a little popularity this year too. I've seen them in Home Depot once or twice over the summer. And one is the Ming Aurelia. I love the foliage on this. It's really lacy-like texture. Excuse the yellow leaves. Y'all, I cannot keep this thing 
a hundred percent happy so whatever i try and then a relative is the fabian aurelia or i think i've seen it called stump aurelia as well and what i love about this guy is the stump i really only bought this plant for the stump and look at that the bark is black and i am here for a dark plant as well but i love the stump even if it didn't grow leaves i would still this would be one of my favorites just for the stump i've had both of these i think this is going on three years now and i've never put this outside either it's just been in the window growing living its best life giving me all the stump that i can get so last but not least this is one of my absolute favorite trees of all time and i wanted to save it for the finale i actually have two of these guys and it is weeping atlas cedar serpentine so i have another one of these guys not out here it's out front actually and he's about five feet tall thick trunk and he is living his best life on the front porch but this guy I have him trained to uh, to roll in a serpentine serpentine type fashion and I kind of messed around a little bit to try to bonsai to a rock over root a root over rock excuse me kind of thing with this guy so we'll see how it goes this is my little baby I just bought another one so we'll keep him indoors as well now the good thing about all of these trees were under 50 bucks I think the Weeping Blue Atlas Cedar was the most expensive one at 50 bucks. And all these others were probably an average of 20, 25 bucks. So you can definitely get your tree on with a budget. So with that, I gotta go because the temperatures are dropping here in Philly and I gotta get all these guys in the house. So I'll see you all later. Thanks for checking me out. Peace. Thank you so much, Danny, for coming on and sharing with us your favorite indoor trees. Um, yes, I am so, so glad that uh, someone can share with us alternatives to the fickle fiddly fig. And um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys, uh, you know, follow Danny on Instagram, give her thanks, give her support, and check out these uh, indoor trees. Hopefully they'll you know, be really, really good trees for you. Trees that are, you know, easier to care for and um, not as finicky as the popular fiddle leaf fig, but will still give you lots and lots of plant joy and really make a good statement in your, your indoor space. So um, yeah, till next time, happy planting.